Hey guys, it's my soap pods and more with me. I hope everything is going well with you and you're taking care of yourselves and the ones you love. I'm cooking myself up some rice and after I'm done eating, I am going to take a video and I'm going to do what is now roughly about a month review of my Zevo bug trap thing. I will link the original video below. I was intending on doing this 15 days in, which coincided with the day I started it, along with when it recommends you changing out the traps. But I don't have that much of a bug problem, so I don't need to do it. But I also had life happen. It was spring break, I had the kiddos, life was awesome, weather was amazing, I was live streaming, and a bug trap was second on my list of priorities for most of the time. So. That is not the case now. With that, I am going to just do a little quick show of that, and then after I'm done eating, do a little commentary about it. But I hope everything is going well with you. You're taking care of yourselves and the ones you love, and let's hop into this bug trap review. Two things up front, I do not have a catchy, or I think it's called that, but I do not have that to directly compare this to or any other bug trap. This is the only one I have. And additionally, I don't have a high amount or abundance of fungus gnats or bugs in general. So again, you're not going to see massive amounts of them because this is more of just a fail back or catch all for any that I do kind of miss or that come in with different plants or isopods or anything else that I get. So I have the unit on the ground next to my kitchen and pantry but near kind of separating all my isopods and plants and that's so that again hopefully it will stop anything from getting into my food area. One concern I do have is the bright light you can kind of see now with this off how bright it is. It does affect one of my daughters when she sleeps out here. She doesn't like it, so I kind of adjust, but that's just one small concern that you may want to think of depending on where you're placing this. And there's not much of a difference between the last time. There are more bugs in the trap, but as I mentioned, I don't have an abundance or high number of them to begin with, so I am very happy with the amount that this thing has snagged up. And I wanted to point out right here that, again, I went to just give it a little touch and you can see that it <laughs> grabbed my fingerprint so it's still very very sticky. So in terms of this product review I like this Zevo. My only concern is as I mentioned the intensely bright light but that's kind of part and parcel with what comes with a light <laughs> system meant to attract bugs. You want a nice bright light. So that's not a negative so much as just a heads up. I do not have a, I believe they're called a catchy. I don't intend on getting one. And as I said, I don't have a big fungus gnat problem. I didn't before, and this actually helped curb what problem I did have, if you consider it that. So I highly recommend it. I would maybe get another unit if you have another, you know, a larger area. That's one advantage of spending not so much on two or th maybe three of these as opposed to investing in one large catchy. You can't um, spread them out like that. But again, I don't have a catchy, so I can't speak to anything like that. That's just one of the things I'm thinking of offhand about the differences because there is the difference in price. Once again, I'll link the other video below. I'll try to remember to link the prices and stuff, but I am very happy with this thing. As far as I am, would guess it. I, I've, um, I've been a month in and I don't seem to need to get a new trap. I'm assuming that is a lot longer out, but more to do with when your trap gets filled up with a bunch of bugs and there's nowhere else for them to stick. But again, that's hopefully and not a problem I've ever going to have. But that's about it. I hope everything's going well with you. You're taking care of yourselves and the ones you love. I'm done eating. I'm done with this video. I'm going to go take a long, hot, relaxing bath. And if I make it, I'll edit this video together and post it. So go easy and take care.